last year, Donald Trump watched as uh, hundreds, well, thousands of Puerto Ricans suffered from Hurricane Maria. And as you might have known, 2,975 people died uh, from Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico. And Donald Trump's response, oh, you know, we had a great response there. We got an A-plus rating about that one. 2,975 deaths, and that's on you. And that's after he says, oh, but you know, it's an island surrounded by lots of water, big water. It's not, it's inhabitable. It's inaccessible. Seriously. So, when, with Hurricane Florence hitting the East Coast, what does Donald Trump do? He did like what he always does. Turn his back. Now, follow me on this one. FEMA was underfunded, understaffed, when Hurricane Maria hit. Now, it didn't really help that there were other hurricanes, uh, Irma and Harvey, who had hit uh, the Gulf Coast, uh, including uh, states Texas and Florida. And, then, and there were plenty of perishable foods that could have gone to uh, the needy, the people who were affected by this uh, tra- by this uh, disaster brought on by climate change. But instead of doing that, you have Donald Trump going to Puerto Rico and tossing paper towels like they were basketball. Saying they were pretty soft, they were really soft, and they were really effective. So now, Donald Trump, knowing about Hurricane Florence, has decided to, instead of get FEMA prepared for the impact on Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina, maybe Maryland, he's done what he always does. Turns back. In fact, he took. Ten million dollars from FEMA and gave it to ICE. He, he, this, is not, this is not hyperbole. He's taking relief funds from. Yeah, he's taking relief funds from one government, uh, from one government program to another government program, which will do nothing. And it gets even worse. It turns out that Donald Trump and the Trump administration want to expand on putting migrant children into these cages. In fact, they want to triple the amount. I'm not kidding. They want to triple the amount of migrant children in these cages. These children who are barely young enough to crawl to just enough, just young enough to drive. That's pretty much that's pretty much the age range right there. From a few from a few weeks to 16, 17 years. It could be it could be even worse. I'm not trying to give anyone ideas. But what the but the Trump administration could use these children as shields. To combat Hurricane Florence, which will never work at all. I mean, this is not tornado. This it's it's horrifying this way. And the worst part is we're powerless. The, the Trump administration has proven time and time again how vile, cruel, heartless they are. This is just plain old. This is the sin of what it needs to be in America. The absolute sin. Give us are tired, we're poor, we're hungry. Instead, we are taking families away from people who seek asylum from places where they want to find safety. Instead, we're making this place just as bad, if not worse, than the places they're trying to flee from. I cannot believe there are people who support this. I cannot believe there are people who are going like, Yes! Yes, take away those children! Take away those children! They are going to be here! Take them away! Take them away! Oh god, my god. This is why I don't wear a bag hat. I'm not one of your people. If you support 
of victims of this, uh, victims of work influence, are professional athletes, the Carolina Panthers, Charlotte Hornets, the Carolina Hurricanes, possibly the Washington Redskins, the Baltimore Ravens, the Atlanta Falcons, and Vegas. Into that mess, the Atlanta Braves. Those professional teams, pretty much. They're not going to get help from the government because they are going to undermine everything. And if you like that idea, then maybe we should have you put in those positions and see how you like being in a 